G'day punters, this is our part two in the airbag install in the 79 series. Uh, after the last video, uh, in the description I suggested there may be some tricks for people who don't read the fine print. Not so bad on the driver's side, you see I've got the airbag in there and a hose connected in there. Done the same the other side, I'll show you that a little bit later. So I mentioned I ran that up through my toolbox and you can just see in here all the airline fittings. The bulkhead fittings go in there and there and I've got the remote sensors you can see that a right and the other ones are left. A couple of T pieces down the bottom and they come down to the Schroeder valves at the front. Inside the toolbox see the air compressor there an outlet line I've refigured it, reconfigured it, I put the T piece in I've got the uh, over pressure sensor there from the ARB and I've got a T piece up the back here that runs into these two switches up the front I've removed the wires from them, as I mentioned previously, they're redundant because I'm using the onboard ARB compressor. I've got the uh, inlet from the bulkhead fittings, a couple of wires to run to the switches, and there's a wire fitting, as you say, off the outlet side of the compressor to the switches. I've got the gauge here, and up the back there you can see the wiring. I've just got to make a bracket up for the switches and the gauge, and then I can just wire that up, and finish that up, but for um, present purposes I can run the airbag system without the gauge in and um, probably without the switches even though they're sort of hooked up. Pretty straightforward. I ran um, the other airline from the passenger side across that top member there. And I'll show you the um, issue that I had with this 79. Now the airbags, airbag man's material says if you haven't got a standard exhaust system you need to contact them. So I've got the airbag in. I've had to chop and um, move my exhaust. The airbag man says 50 mil clearance between the airbag and the exhaust. I've got about 20 mil. I haven't got too much clearance between the exhaust and the shock absorber. And not much left up the top as well. The only other work around is to move the exhaust completely. I spoke to airbag man yesterday and they reaffirmed 50 mils. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some um, fiberglass wrap, put it around the exhaust and put another heat shield on the exhaust around here as well just to protect the top of the airbag. There's going to be plenty of airflow there and given the size of the exhaust I don't think it's going to get too hot unless I'm Actually booting it hard and towing. So, um, if you think it's going to be a straightforward job out of the box, don't necessarily assume that much, it's particularly if you've done a few mods on your vehicle and your exhaust is um, going to impede the location of your airbag. I'll just probably do one more video on this once I've um, finished wiring the, the gauge in and the switches, which will probably be done quite a while off yet, okay.